Welcome back everyone. I see this question basically all the time. How do you save storage on your iPhone in the easiest way possible without having to go and factory reset your device, without having to go and buy a new iPhone or whatever? Now there are a ton of different ways to go about doing it that don't require a ton of different resources. Now the number one and probably the easiest way you can go about saving a ton of storage on your device is to simply just go through and delete the apps that you don't know or that you don't even want to use anymore. Now, if you go through, you can see there's apps like Dead Trigger, there's apps like Fruit Ninja or whatever, like some of these I don't even use. So you would just go through, figure out which ones you don't use anymore and just delete them. Now, let's say you don't wanna go about deleting just random ones. You wanna find out the ones that have the most amount of storage. But what we can do is go to the one of the most important panels in our settings app that will basically break down a ton of different information for us, which is extremely, extremely important. Now, once we're here in our settings panel, what you wanna do is you want to scroll down into general, which is right here. You want to scroll down until you get into iPhone storage, which is right here. Now, once you're here, you'll come into this panel. Now, basically what Apple does, they sort all these different apps right here from their highest storage to their lowest. So you'll basically be able to see which specific apps have the most amount of storage and which apps have the least amount of storage. So right here, we can see Asphalt 8, Asphalt 9, and all these different things. So you could go through here and just delete whichever ones you don't use. Now, for the people out there that install revoked apps or apps that can be revoked, it is also very important to delete those apps that are revoked right now if you don't want to use them anymore so in this case with provenance for example this is an app that doesn't work anymore it's revoked so there's no point in keeping it on my device so i could go ahead and click delete app delete app right here and you can see it'll go ahead and delete this app and pretty much i saved 800 megabytes just like that now while we're here on occasion there can be some times where there'll be like oh ios you know 14.1 update or ios 13.2 update or whatever it's very important for you to go through this exact same panel and find those specific iOS updates that are downloaded but not just installed yet and go ahead and figure that out. So in this case, what will basically happen is, you know, you go ahead and find that oh, iOS 14.2 update here in the future. You would go and click on it and here you can find the little delete install or delete download button and go ahead and delete it and then you've saved that much extra storage as well. And that's another thing where I see a ton of people saving a bunch of storage at and a lot of people, you know, having a ton of updates downloaded but they never deleted them you know so that's another very important thing right there now another awesome one that apple implemented i think with ios 11 was putting your apps into the cloud temporarily so what this basically entails is let's look at asphalt 8 for example now this is an app that has a ton of storage on my device 2.6 gigs which is a lot and as you can see there's the delete app option which is right here but you also have the offload app button right here which is extremely cool and that's another easy way to save a bunch of storage and this is temporary if you want to offload the app basically it'll take that storage on the app and put it up into the cloud and then you'll be able to still use the device however you want to and gain that storage back but if you want to re-download the app you would just re-download it put it back onto your phone and pretty much move on from there and that is another really cool thing that you have the ability of doing that you know like i said before a lot of other phones don't really have the ability of doing so but luckily on our iphones we do have that capability which is really cool so you can just go put this app into the cloud and re-download it and pretty much go from there now another thing you can do which i always recommend people to do is download google photos and what this app does is basically it allows you to put all of your apps into the cloud now i don't have it on this device but it basically allows you to put all of your photos into the cloud and you can delete them from your device and that is another really awesome thing you can do you don't have to put them on icloud drive you don't even have to keep them on your device you can keep them on google photos and pretty much go from there so those are just a couple ways on how to easily save a ton of storage in your device. If you guys have any questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys get hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.